Hello guys, this is Raj Pakri from RapStudios.com and welcome to an exciting tutorial. Today we're going to be lighting up this torch by using fume effects. So let's get started. So what do we have over here is just a simple model of a torch with a few simple texturing. Okay. And what I want is I want to light this thing okay with fire so I'll be using fume effects so to start what you have to do is first of all we have to create a container to create container just go in this fume effects and just left click and drag this now you can create the container anywhere you want and you can place it later on but uh, what exactly is the container container is the area where you want to simulate the things you want to simulate the fire and the fire is not gonna simulate else okay it will render only in this area so it is very important to place it properly so I'll just use my align tool alt a and click on this and here we go it's aligned with this and just move it a little bit down I want the fire to start from here so I'll just move it a little bit down and later on I'm going to add a wind so the fire can move on this side so I want this content to be much in bigger size so come down increase the length width and a little bit height okay fine then I want to add an emitter now there are three kinds of emitter in fume effects I'll go in helpers and select fume effects simple source object source and particle source Simple source is just a single emitter which will emit fire when you are placing this thing inside the container. Other thing is your object source. If you want to emit particles or fire through the object, suppose I want to light up this thing, so I'll just select this, create this, and just we have to pick the source where you want. And the other thing is the particle source. We can just create it and select a max standard particle system and we can create fire by using the simple particles also okay by using spray APF etc so in this case we're going to be using object source because I want to bring fire from this this thing okay so just did these things select this I'm going to modify tab and you can just grab this thing it doesn't matter where you create this the particles are going to come from the source okay so our source is over here so I'll just select the container container is the most important thing so just like that and click on this open fume effects UI user interface fume effects doesn't know from uh, where the particles are gonna come so we have to add that thing in object source so just go in this rollout I just click on this and select the particle okay then I want to react this thing also I don't want the fire to come outside this object so I'll just pick this also. So I'll select the torch also. Okay. Then what you have to do? Just open the small preview window. You can change it to any size as you want. And then just say preview. Start simulation. Right now the fire is coming, but it's not as we wanted. Okay. So we have to adjust the parameters to get as we want. So first of all, let's stop the simulation. Let's zoom into it and let's see what do we have right now you can see the particles the fire over here is not in detail and it's not burning till here it's burning very fast over here so I want the fire to last for a longer time you can see the container is cutting off this edge actually the smoke thing appears more bright in the preview window if you just render this get very less of smoke. I'll just go into simulation because I'm simulating the fire so I have to add the simulation parameters. First thing what I'll do is I'll increase the quality. So right now it's 5. I'll make it something like 10. Okay. Then I have to adjust it Beyonce. What is Beyonce? Beyonce means how active is the fire. Is how fast it's going to travel. How fast it's going to move. So that is the activeness of your fire. And just boost this, this up to like 3.5 and let's simulate this again 
Okay, you can see the fire is going a little bit ahead. Stop this. And even I want the fire to go to here. So what I can do is come down and in fuel. Now everything depends on the fuel. We have fuel, that's why we're getting fire. Fuel is getting burned and we see we can see the fire. Okay. So how fast is the fuel getting burned? So that's called a burn rate. Okay. So less of the burn rate, longer the fire is going to last. You see, I've reduced the burn rate. Now you can see a lot more fire than to the previous one, and it's going way above. I think we have to increase the size of the container. Just grab the container, increase its height a little bit. Maybe a little bit length and width also. Okay, you can see the fire is going above the previous one. I'll just stop this and you can just play this. See, it's much more better than the previous one, and because of the Beyonce, we can see this some movement over here. Now, what I want is I want the wind to interact with this fire. So, the wind is blowing from this left hand side, and I want the fire to react on this hand side. So, what I have to do is just go in a space warps, create your wind, just go in a perspective view. Move this over here, and uh, I want the direction on that side, so you can just rotate this. Okay, and I want the film effects to understand the wind, so we have to pick this. So select the container, modify, open this parameter dialog, add object source. Just pick this, select the wind. So just open this and simulate. Can increase the quality preview. Right now, you can see the wind is not much affecting the fire, so we have to increase the values, of course. So, select this, I'll increase the strength like 20, turbulence to 15, frequency to 8, scale maybe it's one only, and let's simulate it again. Yeah, we go. The wind is affecting the fire now. You can see it's moving towards the right hand side. We can add more turbulence to this also. So just stop this, select this, and increase the turbulence to like 25. And every time you can just have a preview, you can just click on this and render this. See how exactly the fire is going to render. And just rotate this a little bit on this hand side. Select, simulate. If you don't want the fire to reach at so much height, you can just increase your burn rate so it will burn more faster than this one. So you can just get the fire till here. <coughs> 